Hey there, just a short one today. Um, looking at deploying a new version of our app. I was a little bit bothered by an error message I was often finding when I deploy a new version. So if I compile this as version 17 as an app bundle, this took a bit of problem solving to work through. So we build our release file. We'll create a new release on the Play Store. This is the file. I'll just wait for the compiling to finish. directory. Let's get rid of that. Build. Build bundle. Okay. But a new file. We'll copy that in. Takes a moment to upload. Once it gets there, progress to save and review or release. We might as well say version notes including the So the file's up there, click save, click review release. Now this is the bit that had been bothering me. Every time I uploaded an app it was giving me this warning that it contains no native code but no debug symbols. So if we wanted to be able to analyze um, errors we need to have a reverse lookup for the the code on the Android backend on the Play Store. So when we follow the learn more, it takes us to this native crash support section. The Flutter build environment is not using Gradle 4.1 here it seems, so we had to track down a directory structure like this and zip it to a symbols.zip file. So This is actually in my build setup in the app directory under intermediates and merged. Native libraries. Release. Output. Library. So these are actually the, the files we're after. So I need to make a zip file out of this and they want it to be in a file called symbols.zip now where do we upload that it's not clear on here, so we need to go to the app bundle 16 here, export 
little bit at bundle. Downloads and assets. Now, it's curious, it's got a file here, but I believe this is the one we need to replace with our symbols.zip. Now, if we go back to our release dashboard, look at our version 17 release, review, did we not get the right one? Defect symbols, I might have uploaded that over version 16 just before. Cool. Let's try that one last time. review release and this time no warnings everything's happy and we can start full out so yes uh, quite a complicated little process so the nature is that uh, when there's a crash because when we compile everything to a very small file, it stripped out a lot of the the code that would be able to say line 23 is where the error was. So this uh, gives us a reverse lookup where Google understands the library code and can give us more meaningful errors. Um, so release. 17s in review should be happy. Uh, what is 16? Do we need to move that there? That'll be fine. Awesome. So, a uh, bit of messy stuff in the back end when you're uh, publishing to the Play Store there. But, uh, yeah, eventually if you work through all of these quite messy guides sometimes uh, you'll get there there would have been a really simple fix here adding one line of code to our build.gradle but uh, the flooded build environment just really didn't want to work with changing the gradle plugin version so uh, Hopefully that comes through with something that's more straightforward later on. But for now, we'll call it a day and uh, do some actual coding next time. Bye.